Today we're going to go over every single star power in the game and talk about which ones are the best, which ones are the worst, which ones you want to upgrade first, and I'm also going to showcase some gameplay where I get every single brawler up to 500 trophies. Hope you enjoy! Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kyro Simon. it is time to brawl. Now today we're going to be taking a look at every single star power in the game and we're going to be ranking them to a tier list. This is going to be one of your best resources to turn to when it comes to actually deciding which brawlers to upgrade first to level 10. One quick tip, you can actually test out the star powers of every single brawler in the game by jumping into a friendly match with them, either by facing off against your friends or by facing off against bots in friendly matches, all brawlers are maxed out. So that can help you in deciding which brawlers to actually purchase the star power for first as well. Now, now, how were these tiers selected for each of these brawler star powers? When it came to this tier list, I specifically considered three major things. The first thing was how frequently is the star power actually going to be used? The second thing is how much does that star power actually impact battle? And the third thing to consider is whether or not you getting that star power actually changes the way that you use that specific brawler. By the way, for today's video, I am actually showing you gameplay of every single one of my brawlers getting up to 500, the winning match. For every single one. If that doesn't legitimize the quality of this tier list, then uh, I, I don't know what would. Let's go ahead and start off with the B tier star powers. Now, I wouldn't actually recommend purchasing the star powers for these brawlers right off the bat until all of your other brawlers are actually level 10, or unless there's like a specific brawler that you really, really like and you really want to push that brawler as high as you possibly can. But there are definitely other brawlers that you should focus on getting to max level before these brawlers. Let's start off with Nita. Now Nita's star power is that she recovers 300 HP when her bear deals damage and her bear heals 300 HP when she deals damage. This star power rarely gets used. Um, skilled players won't really take very much bear damage and uh, they're all, they'll also burst down the bear really quickly so Nita actually won't get very much of an opportunity to heal up the bear. The health is very minimal for the impact and so I feel like B tier was just the best for, for Nita. Next we have Bull, whose star power is that his reload speed actually doubles whenever he falls below 40% health. Um, you should not purposefully stay below 40% to use this. A smart Bull will already have enough shots reloaded that this won't actually be very necessary. If you're a Bull, like, you you have burst damage, so you, like, take out some a brawler like with one two maybe even three shots and then you're done like you don't need bull to unload very frequently there are a couple of exceptions where it can be really nice but this definitely is not game changing enough to warrant higher than the b tier next we have brock whose explosion from his rockets actually leaves a flame on the ground for three seconds that each deal 240 damage per second and with a total damage of 720 damage now this is effective for a couple things um to know if somebody's in the grass or to keep people from pushing forward a little bit, but uh, the damage is honestly so low that players can easily ignore it. About the coolest thing with that star power is that it just looks pretty. <laughs> Next we have El Primo, whose star power is that when he deals damage with his super, brawlers hit by that super will actually take 600 damage over four seconds. Now if El Primo is going to land on you, you're likely going to be dead before the 600 damage is really impactful. Um, it can be cool when somebody dies of that flame effect, but it doesn't happen very often. Next we have Poco Star Power, which makes it so that when he attacks his teammates, it will actually heal them for 400 HP. This can be a great star power, but it does have some very big flaws, which is why I think it deserves the B tier. You actually have to use ammo. You have to waste an ammo slot uh, in order to heal up a teammate, which means that you can then not attack the enemy brawler so that's definitely an issue and also um, very rarely does that 400 make a big difference it is very clutch when that does make a big difference and you're able to help save a teammate but it doesn't happen frequently enough to justify moving this into the a tier next we have penny where when she has her star power then when her cannon is destroyed it actually shoots out several bombs uh, that each deal 1680 damage most of the time it won't actually hit any brawler because a skilled player will just walk away and they'll know how to avoid it very easily. Um, sometimes it will hit a brawler and there's a rare chance where it can actually land two shots on to an enemy brawler and that can be pretty devastating actually, but uh, it happens very infrequently. Definitely not enough to justify her star power being more than the B tier. Next we have Terra's star power which makes it so that when she actually throws out her super, a shadow spawns with very fast movement speed. Um, it has very low HP and does very little damage. It's faster than most brawlers 
crawlers. Mostly the star power is just like a little bit annoying. It, it doesn't do very much damage. It doesn't even charge up Terra's super again or anything like that. So if you can't afford the HP, you can just totally ignore it for a little bit. It's annoying mostly to brawlers with low burst damage like Barley or Crow and also those brawlers that um, have low HP. Uh, but the biggest use for it is to just waste a couple of people's attacks and you can use it as kind of like a quick body block. Uh, but most of the time, uh, it's, you can just ignore it and it's not a big deal. Okay guys, next we have the A tier Brawler Star Powers. I recommend getting these Star Powers after you get all of your S tier Star Powers. But if there is one of these Brawlers that if you really want to get to level 10 or like you uh, really like playing that specific Brawler for some reason, then it's not a big deal if you want to focus on one of these before the S tier Brawlers. First off, we have Shelly, where when she has her Star Power, her super will now slow enemies down for 2.5 seconds. This is pretty good. It definitely can be game changing in the right situations. Um, if she dealt more damage from a distance with her super, or if she was able to use her super more frequently, I would definitely consider giving this an S tier ranking. That extra slow is really beneficial for Shelly when she wants to kind of close the gap between her and an enemy brawler, and sometimes that's the difference. That's all it takes to uh, make or break an actual outcome of the battle with her. Next we have Barley's star power, which makes it so that he regains 200 HP with every single attack that he throws out. This definitely helps keep Barley on the map for a long period of time. One to two attacks don't make a big difference, but having it on every single attack makes a huge difference. If Barley had more health, so that this star power would actually benefit him even more, I would definitely give this a star um, S tier ranking. Ricochet's next. With Ricochet's star power, then each bullet deals an additional 80 damage if they hit a target after bouncing off of a wall first. With five bullets, this increases the total damage by 400 damage per attack, uh, which is a 20% damage increase, and that's an additional 960 damage with his super, which is quite a bit of damage. This can definitely benefit Rico if you are skilled enough at using him. Uh, it can be somewhat game-changing, but most of the time you should actually use uh, Rico shots bouncing at them off of the walls because of the additional range that he gets from it, so I wouldn't consider it super game-changing. For Daryl, his star power makes it so that he gains a shield for 3.5 seconds after using his super which reduces damage taken by 30%. This can be very helpful for Daryl especially because he is a close range brawler. It's not super game changing um, but it is used very frequently and if the damage decrease were even higher I would definitely consider giving this an S tier ranking because it does last for 3.5 seconds which is a very long time and can make a very big difference. Next is Piper. When Piper has her star power then her attacks deal an additional 400 extra damage at max range when she is hiding in a bush. This increases Piper's burst damage by 17%, which means that she goes from being able to two-shot 12 of the 21 brawlers outside of a bush to two-shotting five more brawlers when she's hiding in a bush. And this can make a very big difference. It will teach you to actually play Piper in the bushes more uh, more frequently, which is one of the best ways for you to play her. Uh, but it doesn't change the way that you should be playing her because you should always be hiding in the bush when you're playing Piper the Sniper. Next is Frank. And Frank, when he has his star power, is able to see the souls of defeated enemies. And if he picks up one of those souls, it increases his damage output by 30% for 10 seconds. That's an additional 504 damage per attack when he is enraged or an additional 1500 damage with three attacks and that 10 seconds does last a very long time it does not cover frank's weakness for him having the actual shot delay if it did something like that as well then i would definitely give this an s tier ranking but for just the additional damage it's good it's great. It's not quite S tier. Up next, we have Crow, where when he has his star power, enemies that are poisoned will actually deal 10% less damage. This changes many 1v1 interactions with Crow, meaning that almost all of the brawlers require at least one more additional hit to take Crow out. This star power feels very weak when you are playing just 1v1 or something like that, but during the duration of an entire match in a 3v3 game, the difference of damage output is actually pretty large. It's not quite game changing enough to warrant the S tier, but it is absolutely a great star power for you to have. Okay guys, up next we have the S tier star powers, and these star powers are the ones that are typically either used very frequently, uh, have a very big impact on the game, or they're really game changing in the way that you can actually have more strategies by using that specific brawler with their star power. With the exception of maybe Dynamite, I recommend upgrading these brawlers to level 10 as soon as you possibly can. Starting off, we have Colt, where when he has his star power, he gains additional movement speed permanently, and this makes him almost as fast as Leon, Crow, and Mortis. This is active 
uh, 100% of the time. It allows him to lead shots better. It allows him to cover ground better. It allows him to dodge shots better. It allows him to poke better. It makes it easier for him to run away better. It just makes Colt better. Next we have Jessie, and when she has her star power, she can actually attack her turret, which will heal it up 800 health. Now, not only does this heal the turret, but it will also bounce off the turret toward the closest enemy brawler, which means that this effectively adds to the range of Jesse's attack if you use it in such a way. One of the best things that you can do is throw it up almost at max range with Jesse and then quickly throw three quick attacks if you know they're going to be attacking your turret. And by the end of it, they'll have wasted plenty of shots, they'll have not taken out the turret, and there's a good chance that your attacks will actually have dealt damage to the enemy brawlers, which can be all it takes for you to completely turn around a match. This is a very game-changing star power, and it is very strong. Next, we have Dynamite. When Dynamite has his star power, if he is close enough to his attack or his super, then he will jump. <laughs> this is probably the most fun star power in the game. It can be hilarious, but it can also add a great deal of strategy to the game. Not only does this allow Dynamite to be able to jump over walls, but when Dynamite is in the air, it also makes him invincible, meaning that nobody can actually deal damage to him until he lands again. And based off of the player's skill, this will actually make his star power range anywhere from being the worst star power in the game to the best star power in the game. Next, we have Bo. And for his star power, he gets to see extra range in bushes. And his teammates also get to see the additional bush range that Bo is able to see. Bo is one of the hardest brawlers to push in the game until you get his star power. <laughs> his star power is a must have if you really want to push it very on. I recommend getting his star power very early on. Um, because on maps with a lot of grass, Bo with his star power is incredibly strong, almost arguably overpowered. Next we have Pam's star power. When she has her star power, then she heals herself and teammates by 30 HP for every single little cog that hits an enemy brawler. 30 HP really sounds like nothing, but if all nine of her cogs hit an enemy brawler, that's a total of 270 HP healed to Pam and 270 HP healed to every other teammate in the circle. Those quick ticks of 30 HP make a huge difference for Pam and her teammates. Up next, we have Mortis. When he has his star power, he can also pick up the souls of defeated enemies, and when he does so, he heals up 1,000 HP. But there are two reasons why this is definitely an S-tier star power. The first is that enemy brawlers cannot see where the soul is. So you can actually use that to your advantage. You kind of come up close to them and then heal up without them even being able to plan for it. And all of a sudden they're like, whoa, I almost killed that Mortis. The second reason why this is such a strong star power, arguably one of the strongest in the game, is because there can be up to 10 souls on the map at any given time. This means that Mortis can have, have a reservoir of 10,000 HP available at his dispense as he skits around the map collecting souls with seemingly everlasting health and taking out more brawlers. Next we have Spike's star power which makes it so that he will heal 500 health per second if he is standing within the range of his super. His super lasts 5 seconds long which means that he can heal up to 2500 HP through the duration of the super. That is a 74% health buff which is absolutely insane. Now although Spike does not use his super on himself self all the time. This does give him added health to be able to handle brawlers that Spike typically would struggle a little bit with at close range because he has such a low amount of HP. This super can also be used if Spike is in like very last second needs a little bit more HP and he's trying to run away and uses that to actually heal himself up. This adds a lot of versatility to Spike's mechanics and, and is definitely an S tier star power. Up next we have Leon's star power which makes it so that he has boosted movement speed when he is invisible. He already has one of the fastest movement speeds in the game just alone, but then you add that additional movement speed, it makes him so strong. It makes it so that he can like escape if he really needs to. Uh, it makes it so that he can travel huge distances if he really needs to, and it makes it so he can sneak up ridiculously quickly on enemy brawlers so that he's right next to them to be able to deal max damage before they even knew that he was there. This is definitely an S tier star power. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. This video was actually suggested by quite a few viewers on my channel, which is why I did it. So if you have any other suggestions for videos that you would like to see me do on my channel, absolutely drop them in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe so you do not miss any more content. I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel in such a big way. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.